the scientific fact that sperm whales and bloody giant squid go to war under the oceans and that's what goes down. <laughs> that's what sperm whales eat, giant squid. What happens if a giant squid comes up beside our boat and sees our boat dressed as a giant squid? That's what I want to know. He tries to mate with your boat. Yeah, and he sees like a baby squid marmo on the keel. I'm worried. Certain kinds of whales eat octopus or like squid. So if he's wondering if they're thinking it's actually a moving squid or octopus and he's trying to eat the boat. I'm not shitting you. This time we had this whole, now we're gonna do it better. So we had, you know, one point tentacles coming up, climbing over the boat, doing circles around the boat and, you know, things that golfed and it was like, Okay, that's a little much, guys. Die? Yeah. I guess it's painted to look like a... Um, well, we've got the lovely water cat on the bow. And then somehow the water cat emerged out of somewhere. I forget how that all... We had a cat and then it turned into, it turned into water. And an octopus uh, coming out of the water, sort of engulfing the hull and the sails and the mast. Like a giant octopus. A giant octopus, yeah. What the octopus does, especially key in the Southern Ocean, is it holds the boat together. The octopus wraps around the boat like this, gripping onto it, around the deck, around the transom, around the bow, everywhere, and held the boat together all the way across the Southern Ocean. It's gone crazy. Freaking bizarre. Sperm whales are attracted to eat octopus and their giant wars underneath the sea. I started out as an oceanographer, but I dropped out very early on, so we didn't get to the whale feeding or anything like that, but I, I think there's almost no question that that's true. It's highly possible there's um, some big whales out there that, uh, you know, they might see the, the boat sailing by and want a little, little piece of it. GBH and Antonio wanted it to look as it does in the drawings. That looks fucking awesome. A hundred percent. They don't want some recreation kind of paint job, so they wanted it vinyl. Because that way it would look, you know, there's no artist impression or anything else. And we were really nervous about putting vinyl on the hull. I went to a guy who builds these power boats. He's, has all these crazy paint jobs and everything else and asked him, you know, showed him the artwork and he goes, I got your guy, Dean Lux, from Indiana, here he comes. I was standing behind Tony and I was turning to me and John was just about there about to swap over and uh, literally Tony goes, holy shit, and there's this whale that was you know, we're reaching along and there was a whale right next to us and we missed it. I shit you not, we missed it by like an inch. This massive like 50 foot whale. We were like, whoa. <laughs> so you verify Rome's story that you've seen a couple whales. Absolutely. Yeah, there are. They do exist. Same exact thing happened again to us. One went right across the bow and Tony's like, is it us? Do you think they're attracted to the boat because it looks like a giant squid? Octopus? Possibly. got the nod to do it and what we did was we actually created full-size printed out graphics of the boat so those stripes that you see in the boat right now were printed at full size so we had rolls of everything so he saw exactly what it was supposed to look like it was whoa I got text I saw a killer whale on the way to bloody China really yeah it was up in the uh, like the South China Sea, or whatever that bloody place is, and there was a freaking killer whale there. It's like, you're lost, son. Do you have any tools that might be able to scan for whales that might possibly be tracking the boat because they want to feed it? Uh, no. Yeah, wouldn't a fish uh, finder work? No, fish finder's not going to work. I think that's what our secret dobbler is for. It's actually more for whale watching than anything else. Yeah? Yeah. So, uh, What's, wait, a secret dobbler? 
Uh, yeah, you remember the thing that we have underneath the boat that nobody believes is real, that measures our speed and leeway? You mean the Nortec DVL? I think it's actually more of a fish finder. Why wouldn't a fish finder work? <laughs> it's not gonna work. Why not? I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Fish finders for, like, freaking crap that's just sitting down stationary down below the water. So we're too fast for a yeah, fish we're, finder. Yeah, we're moving too fast. I don't think a whale would want to eat our boat, so that's not a problem. You're not concerned about that? Not at all. The other thing is to make sure you get the stripe, the, the octopus pool of stripe, just the right way. You start here, you get there in four weeks' time and find that things are a little off. That, that, yeah, yeah. that wouldn't happen because I, would I, would, I would have some kind of reference point up here before I ever put that down. It's not that easy because you're going from a flat drawing to now something that's you know, visual, you know, our actual hull shape. All those little things, those little suckers on the octopussy, octopus, <laughs> they're all cutouts. Some poor girl in Indiana had to pull all those circles out. So here's where how this, this life-size graphic is laid down on the boat, essentially stencil out the whole thing, including every single bubble, eight billion little bubbles, and all the stick, it gets stuck down to the hull, and then all every little tiny little piece of sticker has to be peeled off in between the bubbles once they give it a light little spray. So <laughs> it's an amazing process, actually. It's, these guys are really good at what they do. They're very patient, and uh, I couldn't do it in a million years. And he actually had the actual full-size graphic sitting right there, and he looked right at it, lift it up, paint, lift it up, paint. That's supposed to be like the stingray effect. That's a lot of work. Stingray effect, that's what they call it, a stingray effect, because it looks like a stingray. You have to see these dots like that. There's a theory that because my monster is painted like an octopus, that it's actually acting like a lure for whales, and that whales are attracted to it and might want to eat it. Mm. Can you comment on that? I think that's possible. It's, it, I don't think it looks like a like a, a lure, a fishing lure. I think it was two and a half months we had, he was in there, and the problem was it wasn't like he just had a whole boat and hey, come on in and paint. He had 30 other guys he had to work with, and we're trying to boat build still. So you have the dust from the builder, and the builders get the fumes from the painter. So it's just a bad deal. But they all got it done at the same time. But it was not an easy situation at all. It's, it's, it's amazing, you know, considering that we were working on, you know, computer-generated printouts beforehand that we would put on the base of the boat and then clear coat over them to make sure the resolution's there, and then finding Dean, a man who could pretty much rep actually do better than that by hand, is pretty sick. I actually sat on the boat once in this race. That was great. And there was a theory that it looked like a female whale, which was not very good if you meet the male one. Scary. I've been followed by a whale for three days. Doing a transatlantic. It just stayed with us for three days. Just hanging in Marmostra. No, not in Marmostra. No, but no, it wasn't painted like an octopus. Have you seen have you seen whales mating? No. The, it's a threesome. I think you know it's got a keel and a bulb, and I think it just wanted to hump the bulb and it just stayed with us for three days. Yeah, That's basically. probably something it, it understands seeing more visually as an image than you guys think that I don't think our boat looks like an octopus, do you? Oh, it's absolutely true. Yeah, they, so, they sometimes get help. So there's like the female in the middle and there's 
two guys working on it. Well, it's painted like an octopus. You think a whale can see that? So when the whales would attack the boat you were on to mate with it, were there two whales coming up to the boat or was this one? <laughs> there was this one. Might be a sexual thing. Oh, this has been proven by marine biologists in the, in the scientific field of, uh, of, of study that, that whales want to hump more mastro. Can't and kill. Can't and kill. So we do look like a fast octopus, I guess, yeah. All right. I know a marine biologist that could maybe help you out with this. this yeah. Well, man. Where? Uh, she's out in Arizona. She studies rocks. Yeah, the boat could be eaten. It would be a disappointment. It's nature. The wars. War on the water. Yeah. Yeah. That's happening. <laughs> that definitely happened. Yeah, but our boat is protected by the water cat. There's no way the sperm whale is going to come up with we've got the water cat protecting the octopus, so we're safe. Protection and keeping the boat in one piece, that's where the octopus is key. You got that?